Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jonathan from OT for Tech and today we're going to be looking at one, if not the thinnest iPhone case available for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. It's from a company that goes by the name of Kadabi and the case is called the Veil. For review purposes, I'll only be looking at the one for the iPhone 6 Plus. However, it is available in Wisp and Frost, the same versions that you see here for the iPhone 6. You can pick this up directly from the Kadabi website, which I will include in the description below. It retails for $15.95. The only thing inside the box is the case itself. The veil is not for people looking for an insurance policy on their phone. Just keep that in mind. It will not give you any kind of drop protection. It's aimed at the people that need some basic scratch protection but don't want the excess bulk of a typical case. It's very light, flimsy, and most importantly, extremely thin. Coming in at 0.3 millimeters thick, it's thinner than most tempered glass screen protectors on the market. In fact, it's so incredibly thin, the power button, volume buttons, and mute toggle switch still protrude through the openings. This means they are extremely extremely accessible, giving you the feeling that there's not a case on your phone. Taking a look at the sides, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. On the bottom, you're going to see a wide enough opening to support any third-party headphones or charger that you may have. Plus, of course, you have the opening for the microphone and your speaker grill. Using a screen protector with this case is going to be fine. However, you can expect it to protrude. And screen protectors such as the Mime Ghost Glass Color, the iLoom, or others that go edge to edge should be compatible, but make sure they are perfectly aligned. Otherwise, the case will peel the protector up when gripped from the side. And speaking of screen protectors, for you people that don't like to use them, you can expect no kind of lay on the table protection with the use of this case, so I definitely recommend the use of some type of screen protection. The Wisp version, which is the darker one of the two, is my personal favorite because it matches the Space Gray iPhone much better, and even though it's darker, it's still see-through. The Frost version looks amazing as well and would match a silver or gold iPhone better than a Space Gray in my personal opinion. The camera cutout is built up, meaning that it's a little thicker around the edges to ensure the camera lens is protected, keeping it from protruding, which is actually an extremely nice touch considering this case is thinner than an anorexic vegan. And with that being said, here it is next to the Apple leather case and you can see there's a significant difference in size. And here it is next to the Spigen air skin and again, it's smaller than that. And just to give you guys a perspective again referencing the Apple leather case, you can fit the Kadabi veil inside the Apple leather case for the most part all the way. That just shows you how thin this thing really is. And it's because of this thinness that the in the hand feel of this phone case is a amazing. It feels just like the iPhone 6 Plus should feel without a case. And I love the matte finish that the case is actually made of. It helps prevent fingerprints and smudges and it also gives you a much better grip versus the metal chases found on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. The Spigen Air Skin was my favorite case, but now that has been replaced with the Veil. And I definitely recommend this case to the minimalists out there who want to maintain the slim profile and beautiful design of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. If you're interested, check the description for the website and make Make sure you go check them out. Well guys, that does it for me in this video. If you enjoyed it, drop me a thumbs up. If you didn't, drop me a thumbs down and let me know why in the comment section. Follow me on all my social media connections as it's easier to communicate with me that way because I have a tough time responding to all your comments. But do me one favor, leave me a comment in the section below. Let me know, Frost or Wisp? Because I'm going to give each of these away thanks to the people over at Kadabi for sending me two extra ones and I'd like to just give them to one of you guys. I'm going to give one person the Frost one and one person the Wisp one. So do me a favor, leave me a comment in the section below. Let me know which one you want and I will total them all up and I will give them away probably by like Monday or something. I won't do it too long as it is just a case. You don't have to be subscribed. You don't have to like the video. Just drop me a comment. I'll pick one of you guys. I'll contact you through Twitter or Instagram or come back and check the description of the video and just message me as um, I do want to give uh, to you guys each a case. So again, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave me a comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed, follow me on my social media connections, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.